you think techware is your ally? I was born in the tech world. Hey, what's up? This is Andalus here. For this video, we're taking a look at two things because I managed to pick up two items from the Nike ACG SS17 collection. Let's check out what I got. ACG commuter shoes and the ACG 3-in-1 hat balaclava combo thing. So did I get some good pickups here or did I fall for the hype? Let's find out. First up is the 3-in-1 hat. Now something that I didn't realize that I found out very quickly after picking this up is that the balaclava is entirely separate from the hat itself. I was under the impression that there was some kind of like clip-on thing going on, that it was maybe just like a face mask that came down in front of here, but no, this is actually a whole entire balaclava, which is totally separate, doesn't attach to the hat in any way at all. The back part of the hat though is always attached, there's no way of removing this, which again, I thought that there would actually be a way of taking this off, so I thought that you could have it as like hat, hat plus thing or hat plus thing and balaclava, but it's actually not quite like that. So you've always got it like this. Personally, I think that's fine though. I bought the hat to wear it as, you know, a hat as it's intended rather than pulling it off and having it as a normal five panel. So yeah, no issue there. The hat and this back section are all made of this cordura type material. It's quite sturdy feeling. I feel like this is gonna be relatively hard wearing, but it's also quite thin, so it's very lightweight. It's clearly designed to keep the sun off your face, neck and ears. Whether it will end up being a little bit hot because of its colouring is something that remains to be seen. I haven't had the chance to wear this like out in hot sunny weather yet because it's cloudy most of the time in the UK. But hopefully it won't be too hot even in relatively warm temperature conditions. It will at least give some functionality that most hats don't in the form of protecting your ears and neck. There is a strap at the back which you can tighten up. Personally, I found the default setting to be just about okay for my rather oversized head. So you might find that if you've got a regular person's head that you might have to tighten this up a little bit, but it looks like it's pretty adjustable and it looks like you can change this quite a lot without the hat kind of pinching in or looking too weird. So it is kind of a one size fits all scenario, which is good. You'll also notice that amazingly, there is a teeny tiny little pocket at the back. So there's some functionality that you never knew you needed until now, that extra little ability to carry some shit in your hat. There's quite a few pieces of branding on this hat which are worth talking about. Right on the front, you've got the ACG little kind of slogan tagline thing about ACG being for all conditions. There is a very small ACG triangle back left. And perhaps most prominently, there is a large ACG logo branding on the back of the hat and kind of going down the neck as well. Although this sounds quite over the top, it is all tonal, so it's actually quite understated, which I think is nice. It's not too visible, you've kind of got to be looking out for the branding a little bit to see it. Especially that branding on the front, which is a little bit of a shame actually. It might have been nicer if it was a tiny little bit more visible, because I do think that their little catch line is quite cool. But nonetheless, I would rather things go under-branded than over-branded for this kind of thing, so I'm not too mad about it. The balaclava is not just a balaclava in itself, there's a little bit of extra front material down there as well which makes sense, because obviously if you're wearing this with the hat, the sides and the back are going to be covered. It's made of a polyester elastane blend, so it's a little bit stretchy, quite comfy as well, and the front has some extra perforations and it's a little bit thinner around the face, so you've got a little bit of room to breathe. I do genuinely think that wearing the balaclava and the hat together looks really, really cool. I do like that kind of concealed face type thing, all very mysterious. Plus, it makes you look like the shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that is never a bad thing. However, I did show this to my mother and she said that I shouldn't wear it outside because I look like a terrorist. So do keep that in mind, I think, especially in summer. Like if you're gonna be wearing a t-shirt or like not that many layers or anything, and then you're wearing a hat which conceals your entire head and face, I think you are gonna look a bit shifty if you're just kind of wandering around. So I would definitely bear that in mind, like maybe be a little bit careful. But you know, for Instagram pics, dressing up, you wanna look cool, etc., then by all means go for it. In general, I think this is a really cool idea. The quality is there. You certainly get quite a lot with your money. This retailed at 45 pounds and you get a whole balaclava, which you know, a Nike balaclava, probably 20 quid in its own. And then you've got this whole hat as well. It's not really something that's been used in tech wear much either. So I think it's kind of pulling something from sort of like fisherman type explorer sort of look and then bringing it into a whole new market. So I think Nike ACG definitely gets some props for that one. It's something that's designed for summer performance whilst giving coverage, which I think is is quite an interesting combination because normally you'd associate summer of course with wearing as little as possible. What to wear with it though is quite an interesting question. Not 100% figured that one out yet but I'm thinking kind of keep everything very light, keep it breathable, go for that sort of city urban explorer type thing. So I'm thinking that Patagonia Atom sling bag that I've got, maybe something like this actually, this is a Uniqlo 
airism t-shirt which is kind of perforated very light as well so i think all those kind of things together could be pretty good next up let's check out the commuters which are the acg ss17 shoe this is made of a, a kind of cordura type material probably a little bit thicker than the hat is but to be honest not massively this is still quite a lightweight feeling shoe despite looking quite bulky considering that the material looks quite hard wearing it is quite soft on the inside so i wouldn't worry too much about getting your feet torn up apart from the cordura material you've got nylon straps which go around the top and around the back and around the back just above the midsole you've got this sort of faux leather coated type thing not really sure exactly how to describe it but it has that kind of weatherproof feeling the outsole is a little bit on the hard side so i wouldn't expect boost like performance in terms of squashiness but i would certainly expect better than boost like performance in terms of how hard wearing it is it does feel like these are going to be around for a while oh yeah one thing that i forgot to mention is that i was actually really impressed with the quality on these i was a bit nervous that they wouldn't be great because the price point i thought was surprisingly low it was 119 pounds something like 140 150 $50. Uh, but my concerns were alleviated when I got the box when this showed up because there's this pretty cool kind of embossing effect that they've got on it and also uh, you can see here that the whole box actually pulls out so it doesn't open like a normal shoe box does the whole thing kind of pulls open like from here so that's pretty cool. So I've got no complaints with the quality on these. Very, very happy indeed. All right, now time for the most exciting part, which is the fastening. So first up, you undo the magnetic clip at the top. You pull the whole front out like this. Then you stick your foot in, pull the cord tightly at the back, and then attach it to this little magnetized button thing at the back. It is a very cool way of opening these and not something that I've ever seen before. But once you get used to it, I think you're gonna be able to get in and out of these very quickly. So as the commuter name implies, these are gonna be very handy if you're going somewhere and you need to change shoes at your destination or you need to put them on for a short journey and then take them off again. Or if you're like me and you're just too lazy to do your shoelaces up. It is also worth noting that on the inside, there's a little bit of ankle cushiony support stuff. So I think if it was just this cordura material, it would be a little bit too thin, but they have added some foam padding in there. So you get a little bit of extra support. One thing that is unfortunate about these though, is that they do feel a little bit too big. I bought these true to size. So these are a UK 11 and they do definitely fit, I would say half a size too big. It's not that this front section isn't secure. It's just that it doesn't quite seem to go tight enough to make my foot feel Feel nice and snug in there. I think if I did go down half a size I would get that feeling a lot more. I think that strap here would be that little bit tighter as well and it would just help keep everything in there a little bit nicer. The branding on these I think is quite nice. It's a little bit more out there than the hat is but that's because they've gone for this kind of black and white theme as opposed to an all tonal deal. So you've got white Nike ticks on both sides of the shoe. You've got some commuter branding on the back and you've got the white pull tab as well, which helps show that off. And when you undo the strap at the front, there's ACG branding actually on the inside, which is kind of folded away when you're wearing it. That's quite an interesting choice, I think, because this doesn't obviously look like anything ACG apart from its styling when you're wearing it. It's only when you're taking the shoe on and off that it's like, oh look, it's actually an ACG piece. So that was a, an interesting branding choice to keep the ACG part relatively subdued, but then just sort of flare to life when you're pulling it out like that. All in all, I do like both of these pickups. The hat I think is very cool and it's not really something that I've seen that much before, particularly in a tech wear context. It also seems to look all right on my head when I think most hats don't. So I think this hat seems to be fairly forgiving in terms of both its sizing and its styling. I probably will wear the balaclava separately, like in winter for more kind of cold weather fits. The shoes are very cool, so it's a big shame that they're a little bit too big. I'll probably end up returning these and trying to get a slightly smaller size or doing a size swap with someone, that kind of thing. So that's been it on these Nike ACG pickups. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at them. I certainly think both of them are pretty cool. Before I round up this video though, I do just want to say a big thanks for all of you guys' support recently. It seems like you guys have really been enjoying these videos, you know, you've been watching them, liking them, commenting on them, and all that sort of thing. And at the end of the day, that is the main reason that I make these videos. So basically, it means a lot that you guys enjoy the videos and you want to see more stuff. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a like, and do let me know in the comments which of the two items you prefer. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, you think Techware is your ally? I was born in the techware, molded by it. I didn't see Gore-Tex until I was a man, and then all it did was blind me. If you'd like to see some more techware videos, then there's links up there and you can click on them. And if you don't, it will be extremely painful for you.